A westerly teenager is accused of threatening to harm a teacher. And the teacher is so concerned about her safety, she's taken out a restraining order against the student. The story's new at 5 tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in the newsroom. Well, the student isn't accused of making just one threat, but two separate threats, and the subject of one of those alleged threats is taking it seriously. A Westerly High School student is not allowed at the school, not after the threats a teacher alleges he made. I obtained a restraining order filed at Washington County Superior Court by a teacher at the high school against one of her own students. And I took that information to the teacher's attorney, Michael Lynch. And she's not someone uh, who, you know, cries wolf. The restraining order claims the student was overheard in early October in class saying he was going to shoot up the school and pointed to a female student and told her she was going to be the first one. The document says the school suspended the student for five days. But just a few weeks later, another alleged threat. In the order, someone heard the student say he hated the teacher who later filed this restraining order and was going to hurt her by snapping her neck. He was going to look to take a day off the following week and was going to look to snap her neck. Snap her neck? Yes. Unfortunately, seen throughout the country, just too many issues, uh, too many tragedies, that you can't take any threat uh, lighthearted. Several days after being heard saying that, the order says the school filed a no trespassing order against the student. Lynch says the teacher is taking this very seriously. Well, I think anybody that hears the facts that have been laid out um, would be nervous. Now, Westerly's public school superintendent wouldn't talk on camera, but sent us a statement that reads in part appropriate actions to ensure the safety and security of our staff and students have been taken. It's important to note that we are precluded under federal and state law from disclosing the identities of students or discussing the content of student records. So it's unclear at this point if the student has been expelled, but according to this restraining order, he's no longer allowed on school grounds. In the newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.